Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Langfield, and if this is your first time here, I make weekly videos on video related stuff, photo stuff, and how to edit them. So consider subscribing, watching some videos, and if you're already part of the channel, thank you so much for watching these videos, commenting on them, it really does mean a lot to me. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at vertical video. Vertical video has become incredibly popular with platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels, um, Instagram Stories, now YouTube Shorts. So it's important that we know how to edit it properly. And today we're gonna be using DaVinci Resolve, so it's a free software that you guys can download for Mac or Windows. Now, if you guys are very new to DaVinci Resolve, maybe start with a more basic tutorial. This one is gonna assume that you know some of the basics in DaVinci Resolve and some of the basics in editing. This will be more of how to set up your DaVinci Resolve platform to edit vertical video. Some of the things you should look out for and then how to export it. So we're gonna be using some footage that my wife shot. She wanted to do an Instagram reel actually. So we went out, we went to the grocery store, we got some food, we cooked it here and ate these kind of like Mexican tacos. So it was a lot of fun. We edited it together. So I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up, edit it and then export it. So let's go ahead and get started. My house has got these like incredibly windy stairs. Well, actually, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like more kind of like this setup here with the background here that I've been doing lately, editing on the computer, or do you guys like the upstairs setup more? Let me know. So once you've shot your footage, import it into your computer as you normally would here. I've got a folder called footage, and in there I've got all my footage. I'm gonna select it all, and then I'm gonna go to, to resolve. In the media page here, so you can organize your media, I'm gonna drag over all those clips, 32 clips into there. You're gonna select change. Now what change does is gonna change the frame rate of your project file so that it matches your footage. Once you've done that here, you can create folders and all sorts of different things. I'm gonna create one that's called footage. Like that, I'm gonna select all of them. I'm just gonna drag them right over to the footage bin. Now in there is all my footage here and that's looking great. Now once you've done that, you're gonna go to your edit page. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select one of our clips, let's just choose this one for example, and you're gonna drag that over to your timeline like this. Now one thing you'll notice here is that we're shooting vertical footage and it is landscape right now. Quick easy fix, we're just gonna go over to your gear over here, the settings, and you're just gonna swap your numbers. Basically right now we've got 16 by nine, we want nine by 16, so we're just gonna swap those numbers here. So it's gonna be 1080 by 1920. That's gonna give you by nine by 16. So that is great ratio for things like Instagram Reels, Instagram Stories, TikTok, and YouTube Shorts. So once I've got that there, what I wanna do here, as you can see, it is landscape. We want it to be vertical. You're gonna rotate it. Now, depending on how you shot your footage, if it was this way or upside down, you're gonna rotate it 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees. I'm gonna to go to my rotation angle and this one's gonna be 90 degrees. By doing that, you can see now that it's straight, but we've got all this, black around it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select it and we're just gonna zoom. So by zooming in there, you can zoom it all the way there. Now once I've got my first clip here, it's gonna be very easy because we're gonna select here and say Control C for copy. And that's gonna copy the settings that I've used for this clip. Once I've done that, I'm gonna select my new clip. You're gonna drag that down. And now that you have it copied, you're gonna select your clip and then you're gonna do Alt V. Alt V is gonna show you everything that you can paste. The things that we wanna paste are zoom settings, because of their zoom that we change and the rotation angle, which is right over here. Once we do that, as you can see, now our clip has rotated. So sometimes when I'm doing these quick videos, what I'll do is actually I'll grab all the footage that, I've, that I'm wanting to use. I'm gonna just drag it all over here. Then you can actually do this all at once. You can actually select all of them like that and then do Alt V. And as you can see, rotation angle and zoom's already selected and you're gonna click apply. And then I can scrub through my footage. As you can see, everything is vertical. Now, one tip that I do in Resolve when I'm doing these things, as you can see, this is very small in ratio to my whole screen. So what I do is I close this one here. And the first thing I do is I go up here to workspace. If you have two monitors, one thing I do always is go to um, dual screen and I turn that on. So once you do your dual screen, you're gonna have two screens on my right screen, which you cannot see. I have my media page, I've got my effects, my library, all those kind of things. And on this side, I've got my timeline. The next thing I do is I go to workspace and then I select dual screen, full screen timeline. And once you do that, as you can see, you know, you've got lots of real estate on here to be able to work. You can actually drag this and drag it all the way down and that'll give you even more room here. So now I can zoom it out and have a big surface to be able to play around here. And on my right side, I've got my timeline that I can still scrub through. 
and do my edits on the right side. All right, so once you've done your edit here, actually my wife did this edit. She did an awesome job at doing this. She wanted to do that reel and that's 25 seconds for Instagram. So once you've got that little edit that you've done, you've color graded it, you put the music on, all those kind of things, then you're gonna go to your deliver page, which is right over here. That's gonna be your export settings. Over here, you're gonna change a couple things. I'm gonna rename it by saying reel. Let's say I'm gonna choose my location, which is gonna be desktop. That's fine. Just under your video, you're gonna make sure that this is selected to export video. Okay, under there, you're gonna select MP4 right there. H.264 is gonna be the option that you select there. And then over here, as you can see, 1080 by 1920 is the settings that we had chosen earlier. 23.976, you're gonna leave that by itself. Now here's gonna be your bit rate. So you're gonna choose a bit rate that's gonna go well with your platform that you're using. I find that if you're uploading to YouTube, YouTube around 40,000 for 1080p works really well. If you're uploading for like TikTok and Instagram, around 20 to 30,000 is good. Um, you can try different ones, see what works best for you, but I'm gonna do 40,000 like that. Did I do 40,000? No, 400,000, wow. 40,000. Once you've done that, all these settings here are gonna remain the same. You're not gonna touch any of these. So now for your audio, audio gets kind of weird here with DaVinci Resolve because it has this weird issue that I've had issues with. I've looked it up, other people have had this issue too. And it's just that when you're exporting with MP4, unfortunately the only codec that I can export with is AAC. And AAC gives me a very tinny sound, artifacts and kind of the high ends. It's really weird and I don't know what it causes that issue. But the fix is that you just click render one track per channel. So that seems to fix the issue when you're exporting MP4. Now I just use QuickTime here, which is an MOV file for YouTube, which allows me to be able to change this to linear PCM, which allows you to change your bit depth and other things like that. And it gets rid of that artifact issue that the other one has. But unfortunately, Instagram cannot use QuickTime or MOV file. So you have to use MP4 at H.264, which only allows you with AAC. So as you can see, we're stuck with that. So rendering one track per channel seems to fix the issue. Try out both of them, see what it does for you but that's the settings that I use there. Once you've done that here, then you're gonna click add to render queue. You're gonna see it right up here. Then you're gonna go over here and you're just gonna click render all. And that's it, it's as simple as that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video. I'm gonna play this little reel that we made here together. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.